call Madame Sugan. Vous avez la parole. Mr. Chair, uh, some of the colleagues already re <coughs> referred to the resolution that was adopted by our assembly in the spring session. And I would just like to read out uh, article uh, number 16 that this uh, assembly adopted. And it actually says, the assembly reserves the right to annul the credentials of the Russian delegation if the Russian Federation does not de-escalate the situation and reverse the annexation of Crimea. Dear colleagues, we just heard the grave humanitarian and political consequences that the annexation of Crimea has caused for the whole Ukraine. Do we really still adhere to this resolution? Do we still believe that there is a reversal possible? Or have we started to dwindle in uh, our strong resolve that we demonstrated in this assembly in April? Are we going to discuss the annulment of the credentials of the Russian delegation if de-escalation is not happening and if the reversal of Crimean annexation is not, not happening. For those who hope that there is a possibility for a dialogue between the Assembly and the Russian Federation, I would like to ask, has there any dialogue uh, been going on? And also, for those who hope for a peaceful solution uh, to this conflict, I would like to ask if that is possible at all. Our colleague Sobolev uh, very truly mentioned that right after the police peace plan was introduced by Mr. Poroshenko, there were violent incidents, several of them. And we actually know very well that the decision of the Russian parliament to authorize use of military force in the whole territory of Ukraine on the 1st of March and later annexation of Crimea has unleashed forces that are beyond control right now. These so-called separatists have a diff difficulty to agree on their goals in between themselves. There is infighting, they get their armament from outside Ukraine, from Russia. There are a lot of mercenaries fighting among them. In this situation, is there really a possibility for peaceful solution, is my question to the Assembly. Also, I very much second the thoughts expressed by our Secretary General on the fact that any discussion on any possible decentralization of Ukraine should not happen anywhere outside the legitimate bodies of Ukraine itself. And on the top of it, we have to remember that any calls for further decentralization, be it federal, state, or any other form or shape, can actually escalate the situation where we have these armed groups and warlords fighting each other very often. And finally, I would just like to ask whether the uh, decision of uh, the President of Russian Federation to revoke the previous decision to use military force to ask uh, the revocation of this decision uh, by the Russian Parliament will really help to de-escalate the situation. Thank you.